All right then, gang, so we're reaching the end of the project now, but there's one more thing I want to do, and that's to add a little message right here when we click on the Add to Cart button to say, yeah, we've just added this product to the cart. And also, maybe I want to disable this button for a second or two when we're adding to the cart so we can't spam click this over and over. So what we'll do is go to the product component, and right here we're adding a product, right? So it's at this point that I want to do those two things. I want to show the message and maybe disable the button. Now to do this, we're gonna use a signal. So let me create that signal right about here. So we'll say const and we'll call this adding and also set adding. And we set that equal to use signal like so. And the initial value for that is gonna be false. So the idea being that this is gonna be changed to true when we add a product just for about two seconds, okay? So I need to make sure we're importing use signal or not use signal sorry it should be create signal shouldn't it create signal like so and that comes from solid js create signal okay so now inside add product what i could do is i could set adding to be true because we're adding a product and then i will use a set timeout to fire a function and that function is gonna fire after two seconds, so 2000 milliseconds. And all we're gonna do inside this function is set adding to be false again. So basically every time we add a product, it becomes true for two seconds and then it becomes false again, okay? So now we can update the UI down here dependent on that value. So there's two things I wanted to do, like I said. So first of all, I want to make the button disabled while adding is true for those two seconds. So disabled is equal, oops, make sure you spell this correctly. My spelling is atrocious at the minute. Disabled equals, and it's adding like so. And then after the button, I want to conditionally output some kind of message. So I only want to show this message when adding is true. Now to do that, we can use the show component. So let me paste this in and we say show when adding. So when it's true, after we've just clicked on the button for two seconds, we show this div right here with these styles. So we give it margin padding, border amber, border two, rounded, inline block. And we show the title of the product and we say it was added to the cart. So this is gonna show for two seconds next to the button when we click the button. But then when adding becomes false again, after two seconds, it's not going to show anymore. All right, so let's cross our fingers. Hope this works. I'm gonna add to cart and we can see this message right here for two seconds. And also, if I click on this, it becomes disabled for two seconds as well. You can tell because of the icon. You could style the disabled state a little better if you wanted to, but you can tell because the icon's an arrow while it's disabled and not the pointer, all right? All right then, gang, so that's the project pretty much complete, and that's also the tutorial series complete as well. There are other features you can add to the site if you wanna practice using Solid a little bit more. For example, you could add a delete button next to each item to delete those from the cart, or you could add a quantity input on the product details page to let users add more than one of a product at a time. So definitely try adding those features yourself if you want a bit more practice, but also, I wanna show you something really quickly called Solid Start as well. And this is something I really wanna make a tutorial about in the future. It's still in alpha at the moment, but when we do get a stable release, I definitely will make a course about it. So Solid Start is essentially to Solid what Next is to React or what Nuxt is to View. It's a meta framework built on top of Solid that implements server-side rendering out of the box, static site generation if that's what you want, component-based routing, API routes, etc. So it looks really exciting and it's definitely something I'm looking forward to working with a little bit more. And like I said, when we get a stable release, I will hopefully be making a new course all about that as well. So keep your eyes peeled. So then my friends, I really, really hope you enjoyed this series and you learned something along the way. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And if you want to access all of my YouTube courses without adverts, also get access to premium courses and early access courses as well, you can do at netninja.dev. You can sign up for NetNinja Pro, which is just $9 a month and also half price for the first month with this promo code, 
right here and for that like i said you get access to every course without adverts without youtube adverts you also get access to exclusive courses not found anywhere else you get access to my premium courses on udemy and also early access to all of my youtube courses as well so the link to this page to sign up is going to be down below again i really hope you enjoyed this series and i'm going to see you in the very next one Thank you.